Hello family, thank you for coming back to our channel, Deb Chanel's 48th World with the fam, with the family affair. Yes, 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 yes. We're going to get on into a video because I am kind of tired tonight. I had to sit up there and make a couple of videos prior to getting into something that you know I normally like to do on the spot which is to make videos make commentary and just kiki laugh and we just get in the comments and interact with one another but i had to make two videos prior tonight uh, because i had to set some things straight and then i had to uplift someone or a couple of people held the family all together all right but we're gonna go on and get straight into this video it is written by Amanda Anderson Niles. She's one of the journalists over there writing up commentary for her employer, which is UrbanBailMag.com. She titles her article, Mark Daly Downplays Kenya More and NeNe Leaks Confrontation on Real Housewives of Atlanta. Yes, Mark is dropping down out them clouds, putting his spin on how... His so-called wife is acting in public, embarrassing herself and acting like a damn child. And he wants her to just own up, fess up, and start acting like a lady in them streets and a freak in the sheets. Okay. That's just my side by one in this lady's article. Okay. <laughs> but anyway, the article goes as uh, this. Um, Real Housewives of Atlanta star Kenya Moore is in the middle of a very messy feud with Nene Leakes. While Candy Burris feels the two women don't get along because they are too much alike. It's clear that things won't be getting better between them anytime soon. Despite this, Kenya was hoping her husband, Mark Daly, would have had her back. Interesting, interestingly enough, he doesn't share the same views Kenya has about Nene. Okay, now go figure. Ain't that the pot calling the Keto black, okay. So, what's wrong with that relationship of yours, Kenya? Can you enlighten us for the people that are having a hard time understanding why Mike, I'm sorry, Mark tends to overlook Nini's flaws and her ways of interacting with you, and he's looking at you as being the shit starter and the catalyst that are starting things out there. Do he have it right, Kenya? Do he have it right or does he have it wrong? Because you're still saying you want to make it with this man. You want to stay with him. You know, you have a family. All this other stuff that's driving away from the real question. Are you married to him or not? That's what we still try to play out. That's what we're trying to even figure out. Okay, you? Because if it was a true romance, why would Mark be just like, I don't know, is it a salacious story he wants to keep you engulfed in so we can always try to get on his bandwagon and dog him out? No, personally, I'm kind of liking how he's setting you straight. You ain't making no fool out of him when he's around you. He wants you to act like a lady, conduct yourself like a lady, and put all this pettiness behind, okay? He's saying, get along, tape your scenes and get the hell on. That's pretty much what he's saying. Get along. Tape your scenes. And get the hell on. But Kenya has a hard time doing that. And of staying on her social media platform. Dog and Nini as well. So it seems like Mark is a pretty good chap. And judge a character. He see both of them in space. But since he can't check Nene. Because that's a man's job. He can only check his own so called wife. Okay. And he's doing a very good job of that. Because Kenya is so submissive. And meek and mild. Uh, from looking at the taping on the show. It's almost unbelievable. Like did she have laryngitis? Did the cat have her tongue? I mean she's in tow. Whatever he say. He tell King to jump two times. She's like bam bam. He said I do it four times. Bam 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 bam. She's out there jumping. Okay like a frog. But anyway moving on. That's not in this article. That's just my sidebar. It goes on to say in fact the couple has more attention after Mark makes it clear that he wants to invite Nene and Greg Lee's to his event. Oh girl shake it baby shake it baby ooh, ooh. shake it baby shake it baby ooh, ooh, honey Kenya was trying to oust nene not invite her to nothing but 
Mr. Ball said, girl, you better go somewhere and hide yourself. You better go somewhere and hide yourself. Yes, Nene Leakes and her husband, Greg Leakes, will be there. And there won't be any negativity at my event. Okay, no negativity at my event. All right. And King was in tow in line and she was saying and agreeing. Okay, okay, sir. Okay, sir. That's pretty much what she was saying. But moving back to the article, it says Kenya Moore and Nene Leaks feud will get even more interesting on the upcoming episode of The Real Housewives of Atlanta. After Mark Daly tells Kenya that he wants to invite Nene and Greg Leaks to his event, Kenya tells Mark that she doesn't feel comfortable. Being in the same room with Nene. Now, just a sidebar. Okay, just a sidebar. Y'all remember? So much hype. So much hype for the Kenya lovers and supporters and, you know, the ride or dies. How is it that Kenya can be on a platform, tell everybody that is willing to hear her spew evil at Nene about she make Nene so unnerved she just gets between nini's nerves and gets such a rush of negativity from her just at her mere presence of entering a room y'all remember that y'all remember how she said nini just kind of unglued she is just so uncomfortable for her to be around when she walks in the door nini can't stand it now kenya has the audacity the audacity uh, the audacity okay and i didn't start i just did that for uh what do you call it theatrical things all right but uh yeah kenya says she feels or she doesn't feel comfortable being in the same room with nini now who who is uncomfortable who who's Who's zooming who now, Kenya? You trying to say Nene running you away? Nene running you from an opportunity to be in the midst of your husband and loving on him and all that? She running you away from the event? Can you don't do that? Can you twirl? Twirl. 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 Fabulous. Everywhere. Fabulous. Every day. Twirl. Twirl. Now she getting shook. I can't believe it. I just can't and won't believe it. Y'all tell me ain't so. It's in black and white. It's in this latest article from UrbanBellMagazine.com. Yes, Kenya, in words, saying she feels uncomfortable being around Nene in the same room. Okay. Moving on. That's just my sidebar. Okay. Um... She goes on to say, and this is the case because Nene tried to fight her in Canada. So she purposely just invited Greg on social media. Okay. Now, my thing is, Kenya, you forgot what part you played into this confrontation that you and Nene were going to get into. You know, the situation was just between her and Cynthia. And you were going around in the background doing all this hooping and hollering. Ooh, this fool la 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 saying all this fool la 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 and trying to get Cynthia not to listen to Nene getting all bold and boisterous and just whoo hollering at the top of your lungs. You, you forgot to tell Mark about that. But I'm sure if he looks at the Real Housewives of Atlanta, he's definitely going to see how you were acting. Mm hmm. And he's not going to like it. He will chastise you. Yes. In public as well as in private. Okay, moving back to the article, it says Mark then downplays the confrontation and says that it doesn't mean something or it doesn't mean someone is trying to fight just because they get in your face. He also says that Kenya isn't defenseless. <laughs> Woo, Mark is even reading her. Woo, the shade, honey. Mm, it seems like he is the shade assassin. Woo, he's the shade CEO and commander in chief on her ass. Yes, somebody can finally shut Kenya down and shut her up. Shut her up just for a moment. Let somebody have some peace sometimes without twirl, twirl, and fabulous, and fabulous, and twirl, and twirl, and fabulous, and fabulous. You know what I'm saying? All right. Going back to the article, it says in a green screen interview, Kenya says that Mark should be on her side because he's her husband. And if she has a problem with someone, he should too. Now, Kenya, he should stop basically anybody from hurting you if that's the case yes he's supposed to be your pet protector there but he know 
because he knows how you try to act with him and he's not having it he see how you act towards other women he probably trying to think are you jealous of other women baby you flawless but yet you act like you can't stand other women okay I don't know. I don't know. I don't know what Mark is doing, but he's doing it well. He's doing it well. He's shutting the Kenya down. But anyway, uh, we go to another um, sentence in the arc. It says in another preview, Greg tells Mark that he won't attend an event Nene isn't invited to. Oh, honey, isn't that Greg standing up for his wife? But I'm like, Greg, Greg, <laughs> Greg, you best take a playbook out of Mark's. Um, what do you call it? Uh, take a page out of Mars playbook, okay? No, don't don't sit up there and take up for Nene, cause Nene ain't uh harmless, and she ain't without fault herself in this situation. She has said some nasty things about Kenya Moore too. She has definitely bent over backwards saying how she hates Kenya Moore to the core, right? Right. So, Greg, stop being up Nene's behind. I know she paying for all your medical benefits, all your food, shelter, clothing. I know you a kept man. But sometimes it's best to let women work out women shit, let men work out men shit. You know what I'm saying? Just as long as they don't put their hands on nobody. And even if they do, maybe they just needed to have all that extra energy, all that pent up energy, you know, displayed on both of them. You know what I'm saying? Just as long as they both getting hits in and maybe they'll get tired, start wrestling and hair pulling and all like that they'll say well damn why were we fighting in the first place instead of them coming together and being a force together and making things happen on this real housewives of Atlanta platform they choose and i'm saying again they choose to act like crazy women out there okay that's what they're getting paid for that's what they think we want to see and that's what they're giving us. Okay, but we do have a little clip. So let's see what Mark is trying to tell Kenya about uh, this event that he wants to try to uh, invite the crew to. And the crew meaning Nene Leaks and Greg Leaks. Okay, here we go. It's buffering, y'all. Hopefully, it'll go on and do what it gotta do. If you want me to reach out to Greg, I will. Whoever wants to come and come. I'm not in a good place with Nene. I would prefer they not to come. Of course, I'm not going to invite Nene, but if Mark wants Greg to come, that's fine. But I left her out of the invitation the same way I did on my post. I do want him to be a part of the event because the event has, it's for a cause and it's bigger than any. Stuff. I feel so. very uncomfortable being in an intimate setting with her when she has not addressed the fact that she has tried to fight me, she called me names, oh, she's she cursed me out. You. On, yes, she got in my face pointing and people had to hold her back. I can't, you, you, you shut the up. up. You shut the up. up. You, you shut the up. up. You shut the up. up. A lot of people get people's face. I don't think they want to fight. Uh, I'm but not anyway, going to argue anyway. about semantics. I am your wife, and if I have a problem with someone, that means you have a problem with someone. Get it? Don't oh, miss cute, baby. Baby's <laughs> so cute. Next Aqua Talk, mommy's going in. She ain't coming out. <laughs> you and I go in this event alone. We don't need anybody. Did y'all hear that, honey? Mark was still shutting Kenya down, and they were showing clips as well as Nene. I mean, um, Kenya pointing her finger as well, and Kenya being very um derogatory and belligerent towards Nene as well. So he know what he got, honey. He know what he got. So. He ain't letting um, Kenya call out Nene all the way because he knows Kenya got a foul mouth and she's crazy as hell too. Because how are you going to invite Greg Leaks? Send out an invitation with only Greg Leaks, but you're going to omit his wife. Are you kidding me? Are you really freaking kidding me, uh, Kenya? That's just like Nene sending an invitation to Mark and she don't have your name on it. And Mark still say he going to go. Then what you going to do? Get mad and cry and do all that? So I'm like, 
Don't do tit for tat if you don't want tat to tit come back to you, okay? Because that's how it is, can you? That's how it is. No, you should have been respectful. It was a fundraiser. Your husband, so-called, allegedly, was throwing and he needed all heavy hitters to be at his his black man's lab or something like that he was hosting for a group of um uh, young men that he was trying to mentor and stuff and he needed money he needed uh these black well self-made entrepreneur individuals to come out if they were single you know they can bring you know a plus one but if they were married bring their wife and sit and listen to what he had to say of what he was sponsoring what he was part of what his charity was all about you have to put those differences aside because money is money it's green it ain't white black indian uh native american eskimo alien it ain't none of that it's about green it's about making uh his benefit a charity benefit a success where he's doing a lot uh for the community and all that kind of stuff i'll call you back i'm, I'm taping right now okay and so uh basically you just try to make a mockery of stuff for him you, you're cutting out his assets is what he needs to keep his uh charity afloat okay so yes i totally agree with ma you should have uh set that pettiness aside and uh invited her even if you had to avoid her like the plague you know like portia did uh nini when she was coming in to marlo's event how she just went around acting like she was too busy to even talk or say anything to nini you know hiding behind pose and i don't know she was like this she was doing a por portia shuffle or something she called her little thing she was doing and i thought that was cute but um yeah no, Kenya just as uh, fake and fraudulent, just like Nene is to her. And I don't know. Maybe they need to get, get together and make their own playbook or play nice with each other. Okay? At least some of the time. But that's their whole setting that they have. And they've been have since her induction on the show. Nene ain't like her. And, and um, she ain't like Nene. So it just is what it is. They giving us what we got. And that's what we're... Uh, basing it on and off of okay because hey both of them out there doing press on each other and ain't nothing cool and nice about it but that's all i have for this particular video guys get down in the comments let me know what y'all felt about subject matter weigh in let have i personally thought mike i mean mark was doing the darn due diligence right there uh this is what kenya wanted to marry this is what Kenya got, allegedly, okay? So, or maybe they're just playing a part. Maybe it's a PR stunt. Maybe they're not married. Maybe they're just playing the part just to keep, give Kenya some shine and probably get her in another bracket of uh, revenue with coming back to the Real Housewives of Atlanta. I don't know. It's entertaining to me, okay? I just wish they get another storyline as being uh, enemies every um episode in every uh season i mean something gotta give this is getting too boring now it's too predictable but that's all i had and don't forget to subscribe to the channel like the videos share the videos and definitely uh get in them comments and comment okay it's time to interact guys do your thing all right see you next video Bye bye